Are you deciding if you want to stay in a resort or Airbnb for your next vacation? It doesn't even have to be a vacation. Maybe you're traveling for business. Either way, choosing accommodations to make sure you're comfortable will make a big difference in your trip. Accommodation is more than just a place to sleep. When traveling, this will become your temporary home and ending up in a spot that doesn't cater to all your needs can complicate the whole experience. I've stayed in both Airbnbs and resorts or hotels on several occasions. So today on Passport Kings, I'm going to show you how I decide which will work best for me. And at the end, I'll give you the ultimate solution. Engage. This is Passport King. Welcome aboard abroad. My name is Rock Land, I'm a travel advisor. Passport Kings shows you samples of travel destinations so you can make the best decision while booking your next vacation. If this is a topic you like, hit subscribe and press the notification bell. So how do we decide on resorts and hotels versus Airbnbs? This is a list of the pros and cons of both. So use it for your next travel experience. Ask yourself these questions. How long is the stay? What are your arrival and departure times? How many people are traveling with you? What's the difference from the airport to the bed and what stores will be around? Well, what kind of facilities and amenities do you need? And lastly, but most important, what's your budget? First up, we got hotels. Usually hotels and resorts are the first place that pop in your head when you think about accommodations. Having private rooms, high-end services like Wi-Fi and room service are essential for most people traveling these days. Hotels range from budget to luxury and depending on who's coming with you, they can take care of your every need while you're away from home. Where hotels take the edges, hotels tend to be reliable and they have a reputation to keep so they will sometimes go above and beyond and make you happy. Hotels are usually close to popular attractions and the city's main point of interest. Different services such as room, main, or all-inclusive options are available to everyone most of the time. You can get quiet time with your partner or go out to make friends with others who happen to be traveling at the same time as you. And fellow vacationers are usually eager to start up conversations. And of course, you'll get some much needed and money saving features like pools, fitness centers, Wi-Fi, airport transportation, which is a big one, on-site restaurants and bars, and 24-hour front desk service are usually available to you for any questions that you may have. When it comes to the cons of hotels and resorts, the most commonly talked about drawbacks are pricing. A lot of people will compare the price of a resort to the price of an Airbnb and say, forget all of that. I just want the cheapest price, period. And to those people, I can happily say that my recently launched state-of-the-art website, www.passportkings.com, will fix this complaint. I heavily invested in it so I can make sure that I can now offer you the lowest prices guaranteed. Punch in your travel destination and the brand new search service will compare multiple offers from over 4 million providers and find you the cheapest prices possible. If you haven't been to www.passportkings.com in a while, give it a new try. You will be thoroughly pleased with the updates. Now another con is hotels can be impersonal and lack a cultural experience, which can be true if you're only socializing with other travelers and not getting out to see what else the city has to offer. A lot of times in my videos, I encourage people to take a city bus around town or ask your cab and shuttle service drivers where to go for a dope cultural experience. Plus, you can look for tour operators who promise a cultural experience so you're not just sitting around a hotel getting drunk and fat all day. But all in all, when it comes to staying at a hotel or resort, I personally want to be treated like I'm somewhere spending my money. So that's why lots of times I recommend hotels and resorts when you're going to make an excursion all the way across the world. You're paying good money to get from the US there and you want to be treated like you spent a lot of money. So let's take a look at what Airbnb's offers to travelers. But first, make sure you watch to the end of this video so you can get my free ebook about how to make money in the travel industry. And if you haven't yet, hit subscribe and press the notification bell. Now, whether it's an apartment, room, or a house, Airbnbs are a popular lodging solution for many travelers. Since they are not part of a chain like most hotels, doing adequate research on your Airbnb choice is vital for a safe and enjoyable trip. It's also important to decide if you'll be comfortable staying in the Airbnb where the host lives or if it's one where you'll be alone. Sometimes you'll have to research the owner to know what kind of contact they will have with you during your stay and whether you can accept their intrusions or not. Knowing this beforehand will narrow down your search to the perfect Airbnb. To get started, all you have to do is download the Airbnb app or go to the Airbnb website. If you want a big discount on your first stay, 
Use my code to create your login, which is www.airbnb.com slash C slash Rockland L, R-O-K-L-A-N-L. And of course, I'll also put the link down in the description. The pros of Airbnb is a lot of newer Airbnbs with smart owners will provide a lot of the amenities that resorts offer like personal cooks, cleaning crews, Wi-Fi, and entertainment. Airbnbs are generally more affordable than other options regarding your accommodation size for the price you pay. If the host doesn't live in, Airbnb can offer a private experience. Staying at a large Airbnb with a group can be a one-of-a-kind experience. Airbnbs tend to be homey and comfortable, allowing you to explore your travel destination naturally. The different Airbnb options are unique and practically endless. You can search for hours on that app looking for the perfect spot. But there are cons. Airbnbs often have fewer amenities than other lodging options. With Airbnbs, you run a greater risk of not getting what was advertised. Some Airbnb hosts like to slide in hidden extra fees like cleaning fees. And of course, being in a dangerous area is something you seriously have to consider. Every time I stayed at an Airbnb, I had a great time, but I have heard horror stories from others. They've complained about bait and switch where the location looks nothing like what was advertised, times where the fees made the Airbnb cost more than an all-inclusive resort, and then sometimes it was just downright racist. Links to my free ebook, Make Money Online So You Can Travel More, can be found in the link in the description or by clicking this pop-up. And you will also get free access to my Passport Kings newsletter. Now, do you prefer to use all-inclusive resorts or are you more of an Airbnb type of person? Type your preference in the comment section below and tell me why your choice makes more sense to you. I love reading and responding to you. Now, my ultimate solution that you may want to try is booking the resort for the first few days and the last few days of your trip and then booking an Airbnb for the middle days. This way, you'll get the pampering you'll need after and before long flights. You'll most likely get a shuttle to and from the airport, and you may even get a shuttle to your Airbnb. Then on your Airbnb days, you can get a more authentic experience of the area you're staying in. Just don't forget to use my link when you sign up. Right now, they're giving a $50 off discount for first-time users, which is an incredible deal, but they are also including another $15 off your first Airbnb experience. And you'll get a whole lot more if you sign up to host your own space for an Airbnb. Either way, staying at hotels or Airbnbs have their nuances. Weigh the pros and cons of each and decide what will fit your accommodation needs best. Then while you're lodging, your business trip or vacation will get you treated like a king. A passport king. Jeez.